Greetings from Lynchburg in Virginia. It's a beautiful day here today. I just got here yesterday and um, it's really a gorgeous day. It's about 90 degrees, so it's pretty hot. So when we work out today, I'm probably going to do quite a bit of sweating for both of us. Uh, I've been in the car all day yesterday, so my body is tight. And that's why I'm looking forward to do a little workout now. For me, the best way of getting rid of all the kinks in your body is really to make yourself sweat. And that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start class by sitting uh, in a comfortable position and chanting Om and Shanti just to set up a nice mood in the mind. So sit up straight, inhale and sing with me. Om. 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 Om Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Om, peace, peace, peace. Now stretch out your legs to the side so we can start warming the body up a little bit. So we're going to start by pre-stretching the body a little bit and make sure that you take it easy on the stretches right now, okay? The body is still cold. So you close the legs and point the toes to your head and then inhale in the belly and exhale, slowly move forward. Inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, move forward. Inhale, three to four seconds. Exhale, three to four seconds. Inhaling up. Now the next time you're going down, exhale forward. Now roll your head into your chest. Inhale up. One more time, exhale forward. Roll the head in. Now stay here for a moment. Keep breathing deeply. If you know how to do the Ujjayi breathing, you can go ahead and apply that now. And try to do that throughout the entire class. Inhale, come up. Then bring your right foot in. Rotate your body toward your left leg. Keep that left foot up. Now you inhale again. And exhale, go forward, keeping your head extended. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, up. And one more time. Exhale, forward. Roll your head in. Hold it for a moment. Keep breathing deeply. Inhale, up. Switch sides. Right leg stretches out, the left leg goes in. Again, you want to rotate the body towards the right leg and the foot is straight. Inhale. Exhale, forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward. Inhale. One more time. Exhale, forward. Roll your head into your chest. Hold it here for a moment. Keep breathing deeply. Inhale, come back up. Stretch both legs out. Now place your hands behind you, fingers pointing forward. This is how I like to do it. You can also point them back or go on your fists, depending on how it feels for your wrists. Now inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up and roll your head back. Try to keep your legs straight and your feet toward the floor. Inhale, come back down. And exhale, just fold forward, relax the body. Inhale, up. Exhale, lift your hips, roll your head back. Inhale, down. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lift your hips. Now stay here for a moment. Keep breathing deeply. 
Try to push your hips up with each exhalation. And then sit down and fold forward one more time. And come up. Now please stand up. We're going to start with the sun salutations. So for the sun salutations, you come to the front part of your mat and try to close your legs. Straighten the back by pulling the tailbone down a little bit and lift your chest up so your body can be really straight. As I said earlier, try to use the Ujjayi breath or breathe deeply throughout the entire exercise. If I do not give you a specific breathing rhythm, try to follow your own breath. So we're going to do a couple rounds just to warm up. Bring your hands together, press the palms together and pull the wrists down. Keep breathing deeply. You can slightly roll the head forward to open up your neck muscles. Now reach your arms up, keeping your back straight. Then roll your head back and slowly take your arms back to expand your chest. Keep breathing deeply. And hinge forward from your hips. Keep your legs straight and just reach your hands down toward the floor. There's no need yet to get your hands down to the floor. Just pre-stretch the hamstrings a little bit. You can move the head from side to side, back and forth. Just really allow your body to get used to the posture. Take the right leg back and bring the right knee down to the floor and lift your head up. Now inhale, pull your hips back. And exhale, slowly bring them forward so you get a nice little stretch in the hips. Inhaling back. Exhaling, push the hips down. Now take both legs back, body in one straight line. You can roll on your toes from side to side, loosening your lower back up a little bit. Try to keep breathing deeply. Back to center and bring the knees down. And then just circle your upper body around, warming the spine, loosening up your spine. Keep breathing. The other way around. Then come back to center. Push your hips up and roll your head back so you have a, an arch in your spine. Maintain that arch, shift forward and bring your chest down between your hands. With these positions I have to be a little careful because of the microphone here right now. And slide your legs back. Stretch your toes out, tuck the tailbone down, and roll your head up into the cobra. First few rounds, don't give any weight on your hands yet. Keep breathing. Close the legs, tuck your toes, and push up into the inverted V. Now me, I like to keep my legs closed, the heels sinking down toward the floor. Now take the right foot forward as much as you can. Left knee goes down. Then the inhale, you pull the hips back. The exhale, shift forward into a light, slight stretch. Inhale back. Exhale forward. One more time, inhale. And exhale forward. Now take both legs forward. Head goes toward your knees. Inhale, come up. Reach your arms up, roll your head back, expand your chest. And exhale, lower your hands down by your sides. Very nice. Inhale. Exhale, hands together, head rolls forward. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, forward, hands down. Inhale, take the left leg back, knee down, head up. Now stay here for a moment again, breathe deeply. Just roll from side to side. I love to work on my hip flexors, especially if I sat for a long time. It really helps to loosen them up. It makes such a difference. If your hips are flexible, you will have much less stress in your lower back. Take both legs back. Bring the knees down, arch your spine, chest goes down. Slide the legs back, roll your head up into the cobra. Tuck your toes, push up, inverted V. Keep breathing deeply. Now take the left foot forward, the right knee goes down, and again roll from side to side. Rejoice in that movement. Feel how your hips are releasing all that stress. Breathe deeply.
Both legs go forward, head to your knees. Inhale, up and back. And exhale, hands down. We're going to go a little bit into a flow now where we combine the rounds of sun salutations just to warm up. I use a certain variation to do that. You'll find a, a separate video to, uh, that has the explanations for that. You can just flow along right now and if you really want to study the movement, please look at that tutorial. Inhale. Exhale, hands together in front of you. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward, hands down. Inhale, right leg back. Retain both. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, right foot, left knee down. Exhale, left. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, forward, up and back. Exhale, down. Left leg back. Both. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale. Right leg back. Both. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, right foot forward, left, inhale up, exhale prayer, inhale forward, up and back, exhale, left leg back, both, knees, chest, chin, cobra, exhale, left leg, right, Inhale up, exhale, inhale forward and up, exhale forward, right leg back, both, exhale down, cobra, exhale inverted V, right leg forward, left, inhale up, exhale prayer, inhale forward and up, Exhale, left leg back, both, knees, chest, chin, cobra, inverted V, left leg, exhale, inhale up, exhale prayer, inhale forward and up, exhale, right leg back, both, knees, chest, chin, cobra, Inverted V, right leg, left, inhale up, exhale prayer. One more time, exhale forward and up, exhale, left leg, both, knees, chest, chin, cobra, inverted V, left, right, inhale up. And exhale, lower your hands down. Take a deep breath. We'll now do a couple more rounds where we'll add some variations into the sun salutations, which gives wonderful exercise to the body. Uh, remember, take a break if you feel you need it. I probably won't give you any today. Legs together, inhale, Exhale, prayer position, head down. Inhale, forward, up and back. Exhale, forward. Right leg back. Both, stay here. We're going to work a little bit in our plank position. Just warming up by holding it a couple seconds here. Maybe a little more than a couple. <clears throat> Ideally, when you practice this position, you're going to focus on the spot in front of you. Try to really stare at that spot. It will make it much easier to stay in a position. We're going to come back here in the next round. So we're going to go down, knees to chin, cobra, inverted V, right foot, 
left. Inhale up. Prayer position, exhale. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale. Left leg back. Both. Stay here again. Now in this position, now you're going to use the entire body and just rotate around over your hands. It's a wonderful exercise to strengthen your shoulders. Keep your shoulders safe. Keep your shoulder joints in place and strong. Go the other way around. Back to center. Knees, chest, chin down. Light cobra. Inverted V. Left foot forward. Both. Inhale up and back. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale. Right leg back. Both. Stay here again. Now the next exercise, we will go onto the fists. So the thumb is pointing inwards, okay, like this. Again, you're going to hold it here for a moment. This is wonderful to strengthen your wrists. It's a different exercise for all the upper body muscles as well. Keep breathing deeply. Whenever you feel you need a break, you can just see if you can bring the knees down and still stay on your wrists. Bring the hands back down normal. Knees, chest, chin. Cobra. Inverted V. Right foot. Left. Inhale up. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale. Left leg back. Both. Stay here. Now you're going to take the fist. We just had it like this. Now you rotate it in so that your thumb is pointing to the center. You stay here. Feel how different that feels. Bring the hands down normal, knees, chest, chin, cobra, inverted V, left leg, both, inhale up, exhale prayer, inhale forward and up, exhale, right leg, both, stay here, now we're going to do the funnest part of it. I'm going to try to come on your fingertips. Here I would actually recommend starting with your knees down. See how much pressure you can apply onto the fingers when you're standing up. If that works fine, <coughs> straighten your legs behind you. Focus on that spot. Keep breathing deeply. Bring the knees down again. Hands flat. Knees, chest, chin, cobra, inverted V, right foot, left, inhale up, exhale prayer, inhale forward and up, exhale, left leg back, both, knees, chest, chin, cobra, Inverted V. Now stay here. Hold it for a moment. Make sure you keep pressing your hands on the floor. So you feel your shoulder muscles really engaging. You can try to close your eyes for a moment. Really focus on your breath. Now stretch your right leg up to the ceiling, come up on your tippy toes, I'm going to pull forward, leveling your body forward and pull the right knee up to your right arm. And then stretch the leg back up, inhale forward, exhale up, inhale forward, 
Exhale, up. Inhale, up. One more time. Inhale, and up. Bring the leg down and switch sides. Left leg goes up. Inhale, forward. Exhale, up. Inhale. It doesn't matter if you can't touch the elbow here, okay? Just follow the movement. One more time. Inhale forward. Exhale up. And then bring the left leg, for, uh, left leg forward. Right knee down. Both legs forward. Inhale up and back. And exhale. Lower your hands down. Now ideally stay right here. Try to not move your feet. I'm just going to move around so you can see. So we're going to do some balancing poses now. When you're finished with the sun salutations and you really keep your feet where you stand in the end, it will give you a perfect feeling for the balance poses. Okay, so the legs are closed, feet are flat on the floor. We're just going to start by bringing the hands together and you're going to stare at a spot in front of you and hold your focus on that spot. Now lift your left leg up in front, bend it slightly and rotate it in and then bend the right leg a little bit. Allow the body to get used to the posture first. Breathe deeply. And you can go down a little bit more. And if you feel comfortable with it, reach your arms up. Keep staring at that one spot. And keep breathing deeply while you're holding the posture. Try to mentally count the seconds of your inhalation and exhalation. It should be even long. Should be about four seconds inhalation, four seconds out. I'm just going to hold another ten seconds. And slowly stretch the right leg. Close the legs, shift the weight evenly on both feet. Then shift over to the left foot. Bring the right leg up, find your balance. Keep your eyes attached to the floor. Bend the knee, rotate it in, and then bend the left leg. Make sure that you really allow the body to get used to each step. Go down a little bit more. And if it's comfortable to you, reach your arms up. Ten more seconds. Slowly straighten the leg, bring the left leg, I'm sorry, the right leg down, hands down. Ideally, you keep your eyes attached to that spot on the floor. Separate the legs about shoulder width apart, your hands still in prayer. You're going to squat down, hold the posture, keep breathing. I'm going to stay another 20 seconds. Count your breath in your mind that will make it easier to hold the posture. And come up. Very good. Shake your legs out for a moment. Release the hands. I have a whole bunch of flies and mosquitoes flying around me here. It's a good way to learn concentration on your breath, I guess. <clears throat> Separate the legs a little more than shoulder width apart. 
Ideally for you to find the perfect posture for your feet, you can reach the arms out. You see that the uh, wrist and the ankle are kind of like on top of each other as a rule of thumb. You rotate your left foot out to the side. The right foot comes in a little bit and normally your hips are going to rotate in a little bit. That's okay for right now. We don't worry about that too much. You're going to bend the right knee, I'm sorry, the left knee, so that your knee is on top of the ankle. And ideally you have like about a 90 degree ankle between the two parts of your legs. <clears throat> Upper body is straight. The arms go out to the side and you rotate your head over to your left hand. You can close your eyes and then breathe deeply into your belly again. One more deep breath. Exhale, three to four seconds. Inhale. And then exhale, come up, switch sides, bend the right leg, rotate your head to the right hand. Again, you close your eyes so you can fully focus on your breath. It's really worth it to learn to manage the breath. So you can keep the breath evenly the entire time of your practice. One more deep breath. And inhale. And the exhale, come back up. Lower the hands down and shake your legs out. And then come down into the tabletop pose. So we're going to do an exercise that is called the dolphin which is a wonderful way of exercising your shoulders and upper body muscles and also a good way to prepare for the headstand. So if your hands under your shoulders, you bring the elbows down to where your hands were and grab hold of your upper arms. Interlace the fingers in front of you. Now if this is a new um, exercise for you, you can keep the legs down on the floor. We're going to just practice this. You're going to exhale going forward, bringing the chest down to your hands and inhale pushing back bringing the forehead toward the floor. You're going to go back and forth like that at your own pace, always exhaling forward, inhaling back. Now if this works easily for you, tuck the toes, straighten the legs, and just continue the same movement. So you feel how you're really working on your shoulders, you get a good pressure on your elbows while you're doing that. Try to avoid that your elbows are sliding out to the side, so they really stay in that one spot. It gives you the maximum lever on your shoulder muscles. It gives that gives them the maximum workout in this exercise here. I'm gonna do five more. One. Exhale. Three. And five. Very good. Bring the knees down, shake your hands out, relax the arms for a moment. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit more of the plank position or push-up position. So your hands come down. This time you're going to stretch your legs back to the sides a little bit. So you separate the legs. Now you rotate to your right side, reach your right arm up, look up to your right hand. You hold it here for a moment. Again, you can close your eyes and fully focus on your breath. Especially when you're working the body out, the postures that are a little more demanding for you, it's very good to really force your breath into the belly. It makes it easier for the muscles to hold the posture. Five more seconds. Come down and switch. Rotate to the other side. Look up to your left hand. Keep breathing deeply. Now if your body starts to shake a little bit in this posture here, it's totally fine. It's just showing you that this is 
the right exercise for you today. Five more seconds. And come down. Bring both hands down again. You can close the legs. Now you're going to shift the body forward, bending your elbows back towards the body. Lower the body down, but keep it off the floor. I'm going to hold it here for 10 seconds if possible. And lower the body down. Now your hands are right next to your chest. You're going to stretch the toes out and bring the head down to the floor. Tuck the tailbone down to your feet and then roll your head up just using your neck muscles into the cobra. Ideally you keep your eyes closed, you keep breathing deeply into the belly, feel how your neck and back muscles are contracting. Slowly come down. We'll do that again. Exhale, scoop your head up. Give a little weight on your hands. Arch back a little more. Hold it here. And again, breathe deeply. If at any time during this posture you feel stress in your lower back, you either come down a little bit more or try to tuck the tailbone down a little bit more. It should bring immediate relief. And slowly come down. Interlace your hands behind your back. Pull the hands down. Roll your head up. And lift your hands up and down. So pull them down to your feet and lift them off your hips. Hold it here. And keep breathing deeply. Gives you a great workout in your upper back muscles. Helps to release stress from your neck muscles. Slowly roll down. Again, exhale, roll up. Close your legs, lift your legs off the floor. And hold it and breathe deeply. Slowly come back down. You can make a pillow with your hands just for a moment. Place your forehead in your hands. Take one deep breath. And place your hands under your shoulders. Come up into the tabletop pose again. And still work out the back muscles and include the abdominals now a little bit. So you're going to start by stretching your right leg back. And then exhale, pull it in and roll your head toward your knee. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, pull in. Stretch. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Switch legs. Exhale out. I'm sorry, inhale. Exhale in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Down, the right leg goes out again. This time try to bring your left arm out in front of you, balance a little bit. Now we're going to bring elbow and knee together, so inhale, exhale, pull them together under your body. Inhale out, exhale, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale out, and exhale. Come down, switch sides, stretch out, hold it for a moment, find your balance, then inhale, Exhale, bring together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. Come down, push your chest up, roll your head in, and then sink back toward your heels. Stretch the body. Slowly roll up, and then sit down, bring your legs in front of you. Now you want to keep your body as straight as possible. You're going to bring the hands in front of you in the prayer position. And then slowly lean back into like a 45 degree angle with your upper body, keeping the body straight and keep breathing deeply. Now while you're here keeping your body straight, Rotate towards your right side. Feel how you're working the obliques now, the sides of your abdominals. Keep breathing deeply. Back to center. Hold it. See if you can keep your eyes closed throughout the exercise. Rotate to the left. Back to center. I'm going to do each side one more time. Rotate to the right. Center. And rotate to the left. Back to center, keep holding it. And then slowly sit up again. Shake the legs out a little bit, release your abs. Now place the hands behind you, lean back and lean into your hands. Bend the knees again, but this time lift your feet off the floor. Just hold it here for a moment. This will trigger different parts of your abdominals. Keep breathing deeply. Slowly stretch the legs out just a little bit more. And then stretch them out fully and sit up. Now work a little bit on the hamstrings and the forward bending exercises. So again, like we did in the beginning, you're going to keep your legs straight, ankles together and toes pointing to you. Now you inhale and exhale, bend forward. It's not so important to keep your back straight here. So you just bend forward to where you feel it's comfortable. You can hold on to your legs or to your feet, whatever you can reach. Just stay here for a moment, close your eyes and breathe deeply. This should not be a real deep stretch. Okay, if you feel your legs are shivering, that's a little too much then. Again, focus on your breath. Adjust the rhythm so that's even between inhalation and exhalation. Now use the exhalation to go forward a little bit more. One more time, exhale, go forward just a little bit more. Hold it and breathe. And one more time, inhale and exhale a little deeper. Inhale, slowly come back up. Bring the right foot in. Rotate the body to the left leg, inhale, exhale, move forward. Again, hold on to whatever you can reach comfortably. Could be your knee, your shin, your foot, whatever works for you today. Focus on the breath. And 
then exhale, go down a little bit more. One more time, exhale down, hold it, breathe. And slowly come back up. Switch sides. Rotate the body to the right leg, inhale. Exhale forward. Hold it. Close your eyes. Inhale three to four seconds. Exhale three to four seconds. And exhale, go deeper. Inhale. One more time, exhale deeper, hold it, breathe, and slowly come back out. Now you can cross your legs, just stay like this, and you want to just bend the body forward, and when you're down, you just relax the head and feel how the entire spine can release stress. Then you focus on the breath again and feel how each exhalation really releases a little bit more tension from your back, and the neck muscles. Inhale, slowly come up. Now switch your legs around. And exhale, go forward again. I'm always amazed that just by switching the legs around, the stretch feels so different in the muscles. And slowly come up and come into a knee stand. So your legs are pointing back. You're going to stretch the feet out behind you. The knees about shoulder width apart. We're going to work a little bit on the rotation of the body now. We're going to add a little variation in here that will be fun for your quads in a moment. So you're just going to start by rotating from here. So the hands go behind your um, head. We're going to start rotating to the left side, and you imagine the left elbow is going to pull into the position. Okay, so inhale, and then exhale, rotate to the side. Try to keep your hips steady. Hold it here and pull your left elbow back as much as you can. So you feel that the rear deltoids, the rear shoulder muscles are contracting, your neck muscle is contracting, the obliques, so your abdominals, everything. Breathe deeply. Five more seconds. And then come back to center. Inhale deeply. And exhale, pull to the right. Now your right elbow is pulling first. Keep pulling the right elbow back. Hold it here. Full contractions of the muscles in your backside. Keep breathing deeply. and slowly rotate forward. Now we're going to do that one more time, but add a little variation. So I'm just going to go sideways so you can see what we're doing. So we're going to start off together. Again, exhale, pull the left elbow back, stay here. And now you just lean the entire body back. Hold it. Always try to put a little smile on your face when you don't like the postures or when it gets challenging. Keep breathing deeply. Come back up. Rotate to the right side, hold it, and lean back. Again, breathe deeply. See how I have like a straight light from my knee up to my head? That's the ideal way to hold this posture. And come back to center. Bring the arms down, shake them out. 
Now to conclude the class, we're going to do a few breathing exercises. So if you want to take a pillow or a mat or whatever to sit a little elevated, that's very beneficial. So you find a sitting position that is comfortable to you, in which you can keep your back straight. For the breathing exercises, that is really so important to have a comfortable position. We're going to do Kapalabhati, which I explain in a different tutorial a little more closely. So um, follow along as good as you can with this. We're going to exhale forcefully by pulling the belly back, and I'm going to give you a certain rhythm for that. Then we're going to do breath retention. While you're retaining the breath, just make sure it always stays comfortable for you. So you can place your hands on your knees into the chin mudra, your spine erect. Ideally, close your eyes. Take a regular inhalation, regular exhalation. Inhale for the, for the first round of expulsions and begin. Exhale fully. Now inhale, stretch your arms out to the sides. Hold the breath, expand the chest, energize. Gather your fingers down and up, tense. Then exhale, bring your hands down in front of your chest. Inhale comfortably, place your hands on your knees. Retain the breath. Try to consciously relax the belly. Then guide your attention, your awareness, to the point between your eyebrows, the third eye. Just visualize a bright, shining light there. Slowly exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale for the second round and begin. Fully exhale, inhale, stretch the arms out to the sides, hold the breath, expand, energize. Exhale, close your hands in front of your chest. Inhale, place your hands on your knees, hold the breath, allow the belly to relax. Focus the mind up in your third eye, visualize the bright shining light. Exhale, inhale deeply, exhale completely, we'll do one more round, 
Inhale and begin. Exhale fully, inhale, stretch your arms to the sides, hold the breath, expand, energize, exhale, bring your hands down in front of the chest, inhale, hands on your knees, hold the breath, eyes closed, concentration in your third eye, visualize a bright shining light. Slowly exhale, keeping your eyes closed, inhale, and return the breathing to normal. Just stay like this for a couple minutes, your body motionless, your mind focused on the third eye. Just stay like this for a couple minutes, your body motionless, the mind focused on the third eye. You visualize that bright shining light in your forehead and feel how that light spreads throughout your entire body. Let that light shine through you and radiate out of you bringing clarity and peacefulness. I'm gonna end the class by singing Om and Shanti one more time. Inhale and sing with me. Om. 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 Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Now whenever you're ready you can slowly open your eyes 
thank you very much for joining practice today. I hope you enjoyed this little workout. I feel much better. My body is very grateful for the movement. Um, so have a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to practice with you soon. Om Shanti.